wanted to make a slightly better video showing off how I'm using these Hartley and Noble Give and Grip mounted um, forms which I used the other day to make a plate. This is it glazed in Celsa Chan and June Perry Purple which hasn't quite, it's kind of bubbled through but not quite in the way I wanted so this, I'm not entirely happy with this glaze but it could have been quite a nice effect. But there's the slip foot, sits nice and flat, it's not much warping um, and it's a really easy way to give a, a piece of raised foot, um, make a plate. So first thing is to get your different grip on. Someone asked how they attach the wheel, how they come on and off. So very simple, you set sliders to the right size for your wheel head and then it, it has a snug fit so it slots on um, and just clips in place and then that's it. It can't turn because of, well I mean it grips anyway but it can't turn because of the um, bat pins. Um, and then what I've got is I have rolled out uh, a misshapen slab of clay and ribbed one side smooth. You don't need to do both sides because you can do the next side while it's on here. Now this slab isn't really, it's like a centimetre too small for the biggest form but I wanted to use the biggest form and it, as you um, spread the clay out it does, there we go, it does grow a fraction so hopefully the fact that this is half centimetre too small isn't going to ruin it. But get your slab, drape smooth side down over the clay, over the form. And then you want to just get it roughly to shape and then trim around it. I should have put, I normally have a sharper knife here, but it's wandered off and twice now I've forgotten to fetch it before filming. But yeah, get rid of the extra, extra bits. And then we are turning. Use I use the green mud tools rib, and you're just looking to smooth this side of the clay because it's still got the texture on it from the canvas from the slab roller. Of course, if you wanted, you could overlay. Um, something to give this side a texture like lace or um, one thing I was wondering about doing is putting a leaf on the form before putting the clay on it and then when you can press in you'll be left with uh, a recess in the plate it'll be leaf shaped kind of cool haven't gone and got one so I'm not doing it now but I'll do it in a minute Smooth the clay out, and then round and down over the form. And then, so you trim it a bit neater with the needle tool. It's already starting to look plate like. And you just compress the clay into the form. Soft rib makes the corner radius easier. And see how much it's overhanging by. It's just a little bit. That's the plate making part of it. Use a 
slightly damp sponge to smooth that off. But that's basically it. You can leave that for a little while to firm up, then pop it off. But what you can also do, what I did last time, is add a slip foot. So this time, rather than using black slip, which is what I used last time, um, I've got marbled blue and white slip. I should probably want the wheel a fraction smaller, slower than that. And because this is a big plate, I'm going to give it two. Um, one, probably there. It helps if you want to get the foot level. You can be level and use the top of the syringe to squash it so that it can't go higher than. Oh yeah, make sure you don't have any air bubbles when you get that. Well, that's quite a cool effect actually. You can see it on the last one. There's this little explosion of slip, which it's cool, I'm not sure you, whether it's an effect you want or not. That will shrink slightly as it dries, but it will give you a raised foot of maybe three or four mil. Um, and yeah, gives it something to stand on. Basically, does all the work of adding a foot by either throwing one on or trimming it or any other way. But that's all you've got to do. And now is a good time to stamp your logo because it's supported and soft. So. Logo stamp, that's it, done. So you can just lift the whole thing off, set that aside to dry, and in a few hours to overnight, that'll be firm enough that you can take it off without destroying the foot. Um, you don't want to leave it too long because the clay will shrink and it will become impossible to get off without damaging it. But this way it firms up before you have to handle it. So you get very, very little warping, if any. And that's it. That's all there is to it. What I'm going to do now is... That's the largest of the sizes. The smallest goes down to just a diddy little plate. Um, they all have... You can buy these as a set of the five with the attachment on. There you go. A size for every occasion. 